everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I can make custom stickers with and without a Cricut machine. So obviously the key ingredient to creating really good looking stickers would be to one, have a decent design in mind, and of course uh, sticker paper. Now sticker paper is not cheap i will say that for sure but if you really enjoy having customizable stickers and you want to have something really specific or personalized this is probably a really great way to do it at a not crazy expensive cost single stickers on etsy depending on the size can go anywhere between you know 2.99 and like 5.99 depending you can actually get this entire uh set of five sheets off of amazon for I think it was $5.69 when I got it, so about a dollar a sheet. And depending on the size you're doing, you can make multiple using just this. So this is actually a pretty sustainable thing to uh, purchase if you enjoy having custom stickers and decorating things with stickers. Now I'm going to show you using the free Autodesk Sketchbook app um, how to design your own stickers and basically just starting by saying I'm going to draw it. It's very simple. Um, I love this app because one, it's free, and two, it has a lot of really cool features. I tend to gravitate towards using the same kinds of pens every time. I always use this uh, individual pen here with about a five on it, and I usually do my outlines in a dark gray color. I use N10 here on the Copic menu. Um, if I want to add any shading, I'll always use this synthetic brush and just kind of blend things in like that um, and then of course I have my hard eraser and my soft eraser and that's basically how I do everything um, I have a design in mind where I wanted to do like a paint palette uh, with some of my favorite colors or like one of my favorite color schemes inside of it and then maybe a quote about painting uh, from a book or from some sort of piece of literature because I am an English teacher and I think that would be meaningful so I am going to run a hyperlapse uh, of me creating my sticker design. Alright, here's about where my design came to. I just created a circle, cut out a little like thumb hole on it. Um, I've got some of my favorite color palettes involved here. Um, I added a little bit of shading with gray. I took a darker brown and kind of went over it with my brush to create like a wood grain almost effect on the palette. Um, I thought about adding text in, but the text fonts available are kind of basic and I wanted something a little different. So I'm actually going to add the text in using a different program. I think I've picked out my quote. So I am now going to move over to my computer and show you what I am doing to get this printed out onto the sticker paper. I am so sorry about this. My screen recording app is kind of giving me some trouble. Um, it's speeding through some parts really awkwardly. So I am just going to actually use my camera to record what is going on on my screen and hopefully it is bearable. So I'm on canva.com right now and using this website, I am going to uh, create my uh, wording into my paint palette. So I'm just going to open up any random document. It's not going to matter. We're going to clear out the background eventually. I'm going to go to uploads in the bottom corner here. And here I am going to select from my downloads my sketch, click it, pop it in here. I'm just going to expand that a little bit to an appropriate size. And then you're going to go to text. I'm just going to hit add heading and I'm going to type in my quote. And the quote that I am going with is I knew I had to begin. This is a quote from Margaret Atwood from her uh, story, Cat's Eye. Um, the whole quote is, I didn't know how to paint and I didn't know what to paint, but I knew I had to begin and I thought it was cute and inspirational. I'm just gonna go through here and kind of pick out my font. I'm gonna pick a script because I think it'll look nice. That looks good. And I'm just going to download this and I like to save things as PNG. Now we are entering Cricut Design Space. I will describe how to finish off your stickers if you do not have a Cricut shortly after this. If you do not have a Cricut and you'd prefer to skip this part of the video, you can go to this timestamp right here to uh, figure out how to finish off. Now for those of you who do have a Cricut or who want to know how to print with a Cricut, um, basically all you're going to have to do is go down here to this upload section. You're gonna go to upload image right here, browse, 
Here is my final design and I'm going to go with complex because it is in fact a complex design. It'll give you this section here where you can remove any background, so just click on the white background that you presumably have or use the eraser to erase any other background that you might need. Hit continue and it'll give you the option to save as a cut image or save as a print then cut image. You are going to need to print then cut and it should open up into your uploaded images. I just click on that, click on insert images and it will populate it into my section here. Um, I'm resizing it just a little bit to be, uh, looks like about three and a half inches. It will tell you right here how big it is. Um, and that's, I think, a nice feature to use, especially if you're trying to say size a sticker for something specific. Um, everything in this section here is now known as a print and cut. Once you have kind of decided how you want everything to look, I'm gonna hit make it. And you'll see that everything is out here in a uh, in a black box. Now I am actually going to go back and resize some of this so that it all fits on one sheet. Just give me a minute. All right, I have everything on one sheet now. Once you're here and everything is organized the way that you'd like it, of course you can drag things around to make them fit a little bit more appropriately to whatever it is that you're looking for. I actually think I'm just gonna move this around a little bit like this. That way if I can stack them up, um, I can maybe reuse the bottom portion at some other point. And I'm gonna hit continue. And now the first thing you're going to have to do is print. So here it says send to printer. I'm going to click that. You can use system dialog. I like to do that just because um, I think it's important to make sure that I have it set to like best quality so that everything comes out okay. The printer paper or the sticker paper is actually printer letter sized. So all you actually have to do is just pop it right in like you would any normal sheet of paper for it to print out on. And we're set to print. Now that the stickers are all printed out, you can see there's this little bleed effect. I believe that is so that it has a border. I don't necessarily love that with these images, but it is an option just so you're aware. You are going to take your standard grip mat and I am going to place it down. What the Cricut is going to do is it's going to use those black lines to determine where your image is on the sheet so it knows where to cut. So it's very important that you actually take the time to stick everything down straight and flat. Once you have this all set, you can simply send it through your Cricut machine as you would normally. Okie dokie, everything is cut now, so I am going to take my sticker paper off of my mat. I did use a standard grip, but it's kind of dirty, so it kind of more operates like a light grip at this point. Um, and you can see that it actually has cut basically everywhere it needs to. Ideally, you would set this to have only the type of sticker paper that you have. So I have the Avery sticker paper, so I would then use the Avery sticker paper uh, function, but I did just want to get these out and now I can peel off the individuals and worry about taking off the backing whenever I decide I want to stick them down. Now, I have my stickers. Yay! Now, for those of you without a Cricut, I'm sure you're wondering, okay, well, what if I don't have a Cricut? That's a fair thing to wonder. Um, so basically, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it's still doable. So say if this entire square here were my sticker, I would just be able to go around with a regular pair of scissors, um, either as carefully or as not so carefully as you prefer. It's your sticker, totally up to you. And you'll just cut your sticker out to be removed and placed wherever it is that you would like for it to go when it's done. And it's as easy as that. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do with these stickers or where I wanted to put them. Uh, and then I remembered I have this book where I just randomly pop in things that I don't really know what to do with them, but I do want to keep them. So I am just going to stick my stickers in here just so I can keep them. And you know, you never know when you're going to want a fun little memory. So. I'm just going to separate the backing. I wonder if I have one that's do this one since it's a little easier. Just to prove the sticker paper actually works. Peel it off. And I will stick it. I 
nice and flat. And you can get different kinds of sticker paper. This particular paper um, is matte sticker paper. You can get glossy sticker paper if that's what you prefer. Totally forgot to mention this earlier, but if you're interested in learning how I make these little faceless digital portraits, uh, you can actually check the link for that up here in the iCard. Um, I thought it was super fun and super surprisingly super easy, so if this is a kind of sticker that you're interested in, I would definitely check that out. And that is that. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out, and I hope that you are inspired to do something similar or to create your own stickers for gifts or for yourself or for your water bottle, your laptop, whatever. Um, I think that this is super fun, a super cool way to like get creative and just make something unique. Um, yeah, I really like these. I think this was a fun like little quick craft kind of project and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you then. Bye!